Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Okay everyone, so today we are going to be cash stuffing for week three of January. And this is the money that I have to cash stuff today. So let's get right into it and see how much we will be stuffing today. I have 1, 2, 53, 54, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 90. So $790 is correct. Let's go ahead and set up this money. Okay, so now that I've got all the money set up, I can grab out my little mini envelopes, which are my personal spending envelopes that sit in my wallet for the week. Let me grab those. Okay, so here are my little mini envelopes and we will start with my wife's, which is going to get $20 for personal spending this week. And it can be used at the gas station or maybe on a little takeout or just anything that we like throughout the week. And that's usually what we end up spending our money on is just like a little snack or uh, a little lunch or something. Um, and then I'll do 20 in mine as well. So 20 for her, 20 for me. And then groceries is actually not going to get cash stuff this week. So I was in need of doing my grocery shopping and I actually had to do it before I went to the bank. And so I already spent my grocery money for the week. So we're not cash stuffing that. That came directly out of my checking account. But we will stuff for gas, which will be $20. So let's go ahead and put $20 into gas for the week. And that is perfect. It's just for my personal vehicle and I don't go very far. And then miscellaneous will get $5. I usually do $5 in miscellaneous in hopes that it will get rolled over into my mini savings video, but it's there if we need it for a little extra gas, a little extra snack, or a little extra on groceries. And then fun, I'm actually not going to cash stuff this week. We don't have any plans or anything coming up and I'm okay with skipping this category for the week, but beauty is going to get cash stuff because beauty is actually being used in place of my household. I don't have an envelope that says household um, that stays in my wallet. So I'm just using beauty for right now, but this household $50 that is going in is for toiletries, things for the house, things for the pets, litter, dog food, cat food, diapers, those types of things. Um, so I've been stuffing that with $50 weekly and that has been working out great. So these are all set. I will set them aside to go in my wallet. Now, the rest of this money will go into my bills binder and some savings challenges that I will do at the end. So this is my bills binder and it normally, I'm just gonna use that as a paperweight. I did get a paperweight to help me with like holding the little binder thing down. So I have one coming, but um, I'm just using what I can for now. Okay, so I cash stuff this four times a month and we are on the third cash stuffing. Rent will be getting 150, so 150 in rent. And let's add this in and give it a count. So we have one, two, three, 54, 50. So 450 in rent so far, which is great. And then the next one is my car payment and my Kia will get 150 as well. And let's go ahead and add this in. So I've got 100 and 50 so one two three fifty four fifty so again 450 in kia which is perfect so the next one that i have is my at&t bill and this one gets forty dollars a week so i will put forty dollars in to at&t and when we add that in we have 20 40 60 80 120 so 120 in at&t so far which is perfect and that one is all set. Now the next one is my progressive and this one will get pulled at the end of the month. So I am doing $40 a week into this one now. So 20, 40 going into progressive. Let's go ahead and add that in and see how much it brings this category up to. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, one, uh, sorry, six, 20, 40, 60, 75 so 675 1 2 3 4 5 20 40 60 86 20 40 60 yes 
675 is correct. So that is great. And this one is all set. The next one is storage, and this is for my storage unit. And this one gets, um, this is a really nice 20, so I'm actually going to just swap it out with an uglier 20. Um, but this one gets $30 a week, so 20 30 And let's go ahead and put $30 into storage and see how much we have in here now. So I've got 20 40 60 70 80 90 So that is perfect. $90 in our storage unit and that one is all set. So then the next one is subscriptions and I believe I increased this one to $40. So $40 and we use this category for our subscriptions or any auto withdrawing bills. So any um, bills that need to like auto pull from a card or a checking account. So $40 going into subscriptions this week gives us 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. So 110 in subscriptions so far, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and drop that back down in and that one is all set. Now the last envelope that is getting cash stuffed in this binder is my wife's braces. So we're gonna go 50, we're gonna go 60, and we're gonna go five. So $65 a week into her braces payment. 50 65 so let's add that in and see what we are up to in this category so i have 51 50 60 70 80 85 90 95 so 195 dollars in here so far which is perfect so we'll drop that down in now the rest of this money is going to go into savings but first, I need to play some of my savings challenge games or, yeah, the challenges that I've been working on. So let me get those out now. So normally I start with this little mini binder, which has my mystery scratch off cards in it. But last week I completed this little mini binder and I have not unstuffed it yet. It's so cute and full. So I need to bring in a new mini binder. And what I've decided is I'm going to work on Budget with Ira's 500 mini binder. Now I have a lot of mini binders in my Etsy shop and I have a $1,000 one, a 525, a 500, but I have already done some of those and this one came in budget with Ira's advent calendar and it's so pretty. And so I'm just super excited to get into this one and start, yeah, just start saving my way to 500 with this one. Now, the other two that I've been doing on a weekly basis are my Hey There Cupcake. So this one comes from The Budgeting Baker. And also, I've been working on this every fifth day from Caffeine and Budgets. Now, this one gets 35 a week and this one gets 35 a week. But I've got more than that here. So I want to make sure I have the money for these first. So I think what I'll do is I'll start with these and I'll end with this one instead. And then that way I know how much I can put into the mini binder. So we'll start with the every fifth day and we'll take a look at this one and see where we are at. So again, I had decided to do $35 a week and I was thinking that if I combined two, I would be able to do them every single week but if I do $35 a week, there's actually four weeks that I stuff in the month. So this is only three weeks worth, which means on the fourth week of the month, I think I will double up on the cupcake challenge. So that's my plan. I'm still going to keep it at $35 a week. So I'm going to stuff the 20 and I'm going to stuff the 15 for 35. So that completes the month of January. And then I will skip next week. And then on the first cash stuffing, stuffing of February, we will go forward from there. So that's kind of like how I've decided to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go 20, I'm going to go 30, and I'm going to go 5. So again, the 20 plus the 15 this week for 35 going into January. And then let's add it in here. And let's count up how much money a month this is going to get. So this one now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. So 105 for January, which is awesome. A very nice savings to be consistent with. I'm really liking this one. Okay, so we can set this one aside. 
And the next one we will get into is the Hey There Cupcake Savings Challenge, which I've really been enjoying as well. Um, I've been doing 35 a week, so let's go ahead and prep those. So I've got a 20, I've got a 30, and a five. So we're gonna do the 35, and I like to try fold these up, and then you can see the face, which is nice. So let's slide in the 20. I don't know why I started with the 20 and not the five. I usually start with the five, but that's okay. So we'll just slip it right in the back here. Make sure I folded it down enough. I don't think I did. Okay, let's try this. Yep, that works. So we'll slide that in. So that's the 20 and then let's do the 10 as well. This is a nice crispy 10, which is perfect because the nicer the bill, the easier it is to slide them in. So that's why I try to save my like really nice crispy bills for savings challenges. And then with my bills binder, I'm fine with the crimply or older looking bills going in there because that money just ends up going back to the bank at the end of the month. Um, to pay all the bills on the first of the following month. Okay, so then the five's going in as well. And did I do them upside down? Yeah, I did. Because I was making them like that. Okay, hold on. If you guys are anything like me, that would have bothered you. And if you are not like me, then that wouldn't have mattered. But to me, I want them all like going the same direction, looking exactly the same. And so I flipped them all around and now they're perfect. So we're all done with the Hey There Cupcake Savings Challenge and I can get out Budget with Ira's mini binder. Okay, so here it is, Budget with Ira's mini binder. And I wanted to do like the same amount each week, like I'm doing 35 in the other challenges, but I don't know if I'll always have the same amount to stuff. So I'm just gonna stuff what I've got. So I think I'm gonna do 50 because I have a nice 50 right here. And I think it's nice to knock out one of the more difficult, um, yeah, envelopes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to fold up this beautiful $50 bill, face the face towards me, and slide it right in. I love it. Look how nice that looks with the beautiful background. Super cute. That is what I'm doing this week in Budget with Ira's little mini binder. I love it. So this money needs to go back into the bills binder. So again, here is the bills binder and at the very back, I have an envelope for savings and I just tuck any extra savings money for the week in here. And then when I'm ready to play savings challenges, I pull the money and do it. So I've got 20, 30, $40 going in this week into the savings envelope. And that is it guys. We have done it. We have cash stuffed all of the money for spending for bills and some savings challenges for the week. And that's going to be it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you have subscribed if you have not done so already, but that's going to be it for today's video. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.